first things first, log into Mastodon. If you're new, this is probably more or less what you see. Up in the upper left-hand corner is your Mastodon handle, the name that you chose when you signed up. Click on that to bring up your profile up in the middle of the page. It's kind of sparse right now, but we'll fix that and we'll add a little verification link here as well. So edit profile, click the button. You're now in the profile editor. Scroll down until you see profile metadata. You have a couple of different fields you can add here. P different people add different things, but one of them that you can add is your website. So I'll just add the word my website and then the address of my example website, which is my example website.tk slash WP. Now you're going to see that that doesn't do anything yet, but I want you to see that. So I'm going to over in the verification section on the right hand side of the page, click the copy button. That copies a special verification link that you need to embed somewhere on a website that you control. So I'm going to save my changes just so we can see what a non-verified account looks like. This is non-verified. You can see that I do have a website. It shows the website location, but there's no little green check mark by the website. That's okay. We can fix that. I'm going to go to my website now. This is the one that I've listed there. It's an example WordPress site. And if you're familiar with, Word, with WordPress, then you'll be familiar with most of this. But if not, in the upper left corner is access to your dashboard. So I'm going to click on Dashboard. And then over in the left column, I'm going to hover over Posts and look at All Posts. Now, I don't have a whole lot of posts in my simple little example WordPress site, but that's OK. You can add new pages. You can give it a special verification category. However you want to do this, I'm just going to add it to the page that I have access to because it's easy right now. So this is the page editor in WordPress, and I'm going to add some text. How about something like visit me on Mastodon? That works. OK. So to get our special verification link in here somewhere, I'm going to hover over the text that I've added. And in the little control panel that appears, I'm going to click the three dots or the options menu. Scroll down in the options menu until you see edit as HTML. That exposes the code contained within that box. It's pretty simple. So instead of the word Mastodon, I'm going to paste in the verification link that Mastodon provided me. It just so happens that it contains the word Mastodon with a link, a special verification link, back to Mastodon. And that's how that's done. So now that that's finished, I'm, I'm, I'm actually done. So I mean, you can, you, can, you can choose to edit visually if you just need to see a, like a preview. But really, all you need to do is go up to the upper right corner of your screen and or of the WordPress window and click update. Or if it's a new page, you'll click publish. OK, I'm going to go back to the WordPress interface and I'm going to choose to visit my site. I'll click on the blog post that I just edited called Hello World. And I can see that, yes, indeed, this new link has been added to my page. Just to make sure that that takes me to the right place, I could even click on that link to just to confirm that, yes, it takes me to, to my profile page. OK, so now I'm going to go back to my, 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 my profile. Uh, as you can see, even if I reload this page, I don't have a green check mark yet by my website. OK, so what you need to do is click into your edit profile. This website address here, this needs to exactly match the location of that special verification link. So over in WordPress, I know that I put it in this Hello World blog post because I can see it. It's right there. So I need to click up in the URL bar and copy the exact URL contained in that contains the verification link. 
go back over to edit profile instead of just the website I'm pasting in the entire location the, the the URL that will take me exactly to that verification link that's what Mastodon is looking for so I've saved my changes I'm gonna go back to Mastodon I'll click on my handle again and now you can see that my website has a little green check mark by it proving that I am the same person controlling that website and this Mastodon instance that honestly is as good as online verification gets none of us can actually be a hundred percent sure that people we're talking to online are exactly who they claim to be but we can we can verify through methods like this that they are the same person doing posts here on Mastodon and making posts on this WordPress site so if people know your website and they trust that that website represents you then now they can also trust that this Mastodon entity was able to go in and edit that website and so presumably it's the same person that's it it's pretty easy hopefully this has helped thanks for watching